Hello everyone and welcome to Fiction Worlds. My name is Sophie and I'm your host. And today I'm coming to you with my TBR for June. Basically in June I'm going to take part in two readathons. I'm going to take part in the To Be Continued readathon and the Four Nations readathon. Both are the complete month long. And, well, basically I need a TBR and I need a set because I'm at my parents and I don't have the amount of books with me that I actually own. I was just able to get a couple of books when I was at my parents and when I was at my apartment, uh, like two, two, three days ago. Um, like I tried to make a TBR at that time, but, uh, made it very open, so took a couple more books with me than I actually needed but that's just so I still have the option to read something else and in case I'm not interested in reading what I have right now. Actually after filming this I have to clean up the mess on my, on my desk before I can do stuff for university. Yay! On the side note. <laughs> Yay! But let's just go into this. We're going to start with the TBC readathon which is basically the to be continued readathon which I'm hosting. Um, together with three other great women, such a great team, such t fun times we had with Zoom meetings, and um, yeah, it's just really, really great. We have a Discord as well, gonna link everything in the description down below, as well for the other readathon. Um, but let's just go into this. We have eight prompts, we have a bingo board, which I'm also gonna put here, possibly. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna try and read as many as I can. I might not be able to read all of them because of like university. Okay, so basically I'm gonna try to read my best, but with university it might not be possible. So, just go into this. So the first challenge is to top of the TBR pile, which is to read the book you're most excited to read. Of course, because I tried um, filming all of this before, it just my camera died. I decided to do it again and all my books are in long order, so I did not think this through. Okay, so I've got it. So the book I'm most excited to, do, uh, to read is a reread of mine, which I haven't read since like 2013 or 2012. And that is The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. Really, really, really enjoyed the book. Um, like all three books I read the first in English and German in high school. And then I decided to read to try to read them in English and it was just lots of fun and surprisingly it didn't take me too long comparing it to some other books that I've read um, it was a lot of fun and I can't reach, wait to reread them again <laughs> then we have New Kid which is to read the most recently published on your TBR and I decided to go with Incendiary by uh, Sword so Raida Cordova, which was published in April. This is probably like the most recent book I got in general. Also looking like a publishing year, which was in the April box of our grade. I'm not getting the June one, so I'm pretty much can say this is my most recent one. <laughs> and yeah, so going with this one, it's part of a series. It's the first one and I decided to do not only sequels but also firsts, otherwise might be a bit difficult for me to, to work with it. So I could also technically double up. <laughs> then we have This Road is Long, which is to read a book from a series containing at least three books. And for that I'm going with Catching Fire. Uh, am I doing this wrong again? No. Catching Fire by Hunger Games, uh, but also by Susan Collins, which is the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I know there is a third book, uh, like, there is a prequel come out. I don't own it, I'm not quite sure if I want to get it. And for now, and it says at least three books, I'm safe. Right? Right? <laughs> then we have a free card, which is to read whatever you want, as long as it's part of a series. I do have a book for that one, but it's a honker. I will take much longer f uh, for it <laughs> than a month but i want to start it at least and the book is called cyber trips which is by mary grasshoff it's actually a german book which for me is super surprising because if you have been here before i took like breaks you know that i don't really read anything outside of english i think i read like 
the Ruby Red trilogy in, in, in German, but that's a reread for me, so kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a different thing to, re to reread books than to start a whole new series. And this is uh, the second book, I think, in a trilogy. I'm not quite sure yet, and I really, really enjoyed the first one, despite it taking me like three months. It's like a huge book. <laughs> so, but I'm really excited to read this, and I'm actually body reading it with a friend, but I don't know if she has started it yet, so I'm just gonna say, can we read this in June? <laughs> Then we have I Like Them, another, which is to read the next book in the series. And I'm just gonna go with, um, surprise, surprise, Mocking Jay by Susan Collins. This way we have finished the series. <laughs> then we have Procrastination, which is the sequel that has been on your TBR the longest. And honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I will have to go through my, like, uh, Goodreads uh, list and see and just I don't, I don't know I never really I might just skip that one I guess <laughs> I really thought of it that much um I we will find something and if I don't read one book it's like not gonna kill me this is for fun so do not pressure yourself if you don't want a book to buy books <laughs> I mean buy books if you want books but do not pressure yourself to have a book just so it can fit the challenge. Also with this one it doesn't really work. <laughs> okay, then we have right back where we started from which is to read the first book in the series. I decided to go with Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pub Preto. Um this was also in my Alcrate book, so I'm not quite sure which like which month it was. Um but it's such a pretty cover. And it's the first, so I hope it counts. <laughs> And then we have um, the last one, which is the boss level, and it's to read a book featuring a mentor or a villain or someone larger than life. I'm not quite sure about this one, um, it all depends on how this one works out, um, but I brought uh, the second book with me, which is Heart of Flames, of course, also by Nicky Pre 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 Preto. Um, I'm not sure what I mean, which book doesn't have a villain, where right? it should work. In case it doesn't, <laughs> I have the Narnia books with me, which, um, I mean, Arslan is there, and Arslan is, like, a depiction of, of, like, God, and we have, like, in some of them, I mean, in all of them we have villains, so, yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm gonna save. If, if that doesn't count, I don't even know what does. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with this one. So... That was it for the To Be Continued readathon. Now for the Fire Nations readathon. I don't know if you know how it works. Basically, you decide to go with one nation, either the Water Tribes, uh, the Fire Normans, the Earth Kingdom, or the Fire Nation. I personally decided to go with the Water Tribes. Then you have in there you have a couple of you have like ten levels where you have to read the pumps for. And you have some special things you can do, like some special skills, and then once you have the first nation done, you go to the next, um, and then when once you have them all done, there is, I think, like, some couple more challenges you can do, so this readathon does take a while, it's not gonna be like a one month thing, it's gonna be repeated itself, repeating itself, and it's basically after um, the last airbender. But let's just go for level one. You have to read one book, so some of them have like only one book, some of them I think up to four or three books. I'm not quite sure right now. Oh, yep, up to more than f so. I think like the last one is five books, okay? So, like one to four to four challenges. For the first one we have to only read one, which is to read a, a book with a blue cover. I do have a couple. I have the catch I have Catching Fire from the Hunger Games. I could read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I do have a couple more that I have with me that are blue. Um that would then technically be doubling up. Um but um I could do The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli. I could do The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. 
Um, I don't know. This one is pretty, pretty, pretty open. Might have more books that I could read for this challenge. Um, so yay. <laughs> Then a level two is to read a book under 100 pages. This is probably like the best book for this. It's um, the first like comic manga graphic novel um, in the um, last Airbender comics after like after the war. I don't even know if there's like comics be during the war or before, so I'm just gonna say after the war. And this is like when it starts with this is a German. I got this at, like German book on in Leipzig. And I did start it, but I only really read like the beginning because I quite totally forgot that it was like after war. <laughs> when you read it, like I didn't even read the back. I'm like, okay, let's read this. And I kind of thought it was a story again. But it's after the war. Good job. <laughs> I will also rewatch the show during during the month, so because it fits right, it does it does fit very well. <laughs> okay, then we have Uh, to read uh, two more books in level three, which is Ice Shield, a book with ice on the cover, which, um, where's my phone? I do have a script book for this, which I decided to go with. It is called Forgotten Girl, but I kind of forgot the name of the author. That's just... Oh, uh, India Hill Brown. <laughs> Thank you, Google. <laughs> Because I can't find my phone right now. So, um, the title I'm gonna put, like, I'm gonna put the cover here. And if you if you tell me that's not ice, I don't know what is. <laughs> then we have level 3 to read a book um, with uh, that has assassins in it. I don't believe I will even get this far. <laughs> but if I do, I'm pretty sure there's one of the series, I think, or like a quote of Thost or as Akotar or the other one. I always keep forgetting title names. Um, that has assassins in it. If you know which one I mean. I forgot the title. Comment down below. Because I may need that again. <laughs> I think I have it on script like on my on my on my list. But it might not be. Well if you have any re recommendations of books with assassins, comment down below. <laughs> now we have We have Water Jet, which is <clears throat> to read a guilty pleasure. I do have to say, didn't find anything. Um, might have to look on the script again, but I don't have a book for this. I decided I wanted to take this one book, but then I couldn't find it anywhere, and I don't want to buy it because the money. So yeah, I'm gonna have one. <laughs> then we have, so we might end at level four because I don't have anything for this one book. <laughs> Yay. Um, then we have Water Manipulation, which to read a mystery. And I decided to go with All the Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Cleffith. This was in a, in a, like, a chocolate book box, so you get some chocolate and a book. And um, this was in there. I don't know anything about it, I just know it's a mystery. <laughs> that works great, right? That's like, that's all, that's all you need to know is that... It, yeah, and she's like in water, so it works because it says water manipulation. And she's like swimming in water. That's how it works. <laughs> then we have Rave, which is to read a book you've already read and made you cry, all very emotional. And I'm going to go with Mockingjay by Susan Collins because even though I did not cry, it made me very emotional. Like, yeah, I don't think I have to say it, I don't want to spoil it, but it was very emotional with the ending. <laughs> Like, the whole book was very emotional. <laughs> okay. Level 5, I do, I do know that I don't have a guilty pleasure, but I'm gonna still try and do, do until level 5 and try to find, find a guilty pleasure maybe on Kindle or something, because it's all I can do right now. <laughs> Although my Kindle is broken, I just have to read it on the phone. We have Octopus Form, which is to read a book of a disabled main character. Yeah, I will need some recommendations for that one in the comments down below. <laughs> if I find any books, um, 
afterwards like I might vlog this month like in June so might tell you then <laughs> then we have Water Vortex which is to read a book of a, of a sea creature on the cover and I have All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace and yeah there's like tentacles yeah, like here so and that isn't sea creature enough I don't know what it is oh also there's a tail of like a mermaid or a fish oh, that's scary <laughs> so I feel like that should count and then we have ice prison which is a book where people who have to escape prison I also don't have a book for that so basically I am missing three books so recommendations I'll take them. <laughs> preferably books that are on script because <laughs> saving money because that's heck and I don't know which perspective it is from okay no no I don't know we might find something like I might go with a technical, like not really actual prison, but looks like a, feels like a prison kind of thing. Or it's like, she's kind of stuck and has to get herself out, like kind of Hunger Games thingy. So it's not actually a prison, but they also don't have actually a choice. Which, I don't know, it kind of feels like that's the definition of a prison. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Don't forget to click on the notifications be notification bell down be uh, right next to, you, next to it so you don't miss whenever I post in a video. I'm gonna try and make a schedule, so possibly like which day we have today. Okay, let's open up you again. Yes, show me the date. Okay, it's Friday. So maybe like every Saturday for now. That sounds good. Okay, let's do every Saturday. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and post every Saturday, like TBRs, fun challenges, and if that works, I can still do more. Hope you liked it. Keep on reading and see you next time. Bye! Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening And it sounds just like a song